Hello everyone. Now, we got a show for you today. I can give you what you want, but you got to go home with me. I forgot some good old love and then I got this song in store. First of all, the music industry. Okay, it's close, obviously close to both our hearts and we've had some good nights yeah. <laughs> in it. But what's your take on the current scene? I know you're you're kind of out of it now, really, aren't you? Like, but how, I mean, from a sort of outside, how do you see? Because the I could ramble all, all day about it, but obviously the download generation, you know, the internet generation, and the fact that real artists, unless you're number one in the charts, are pretty much earning most of their money touring and gigging, aren't they? I'm guessing the pros and cons, but of that. But how do you see things? What is well, your take on it? It's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, mm. So those artists that uh, are now making all their money touring and gigging, well, they're playing more shows. And that means they're connecting better with their audience, their yeah. fans. And what I loved most about music was live music. You know, yeah, yeah. it's good to, to listen to at the time, the CDs and whatever, but you know, it's not what we were feeling, you know, the, what we had, the, what we enjoyed the most was going to the gigs and, I mean, the best times we had was when you were on stage and... <laughs> yeah, the live music. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, I mean, live music for me, very close to my heart. Um, I ran, ran quite a popular music venue in Bath for a number of years. And, yeah, we can talk about that. You know... Uh, and in New Cross. And in New Cross, promoted nights, but... You uh, and Tesla were the kings. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, do you... Because obviously you're out of it now and doing other... Other businesses, mm -hmm. but do you miss them days of music? Because yeah, I mean, we had some good nights. I often reminisce, and I, I do, to be honest. Uh, yeah. But I mean, as you say, the music industry's changed. I mean, yeah. I'll ask you a question. What was the last good band that's new that came out? Wow, good question. I think, and I don't, I don't sound like an old timer here, but the last band that really shook things up for me were the Arctic Monkeys. And we're talking what, 10, 11, 11 well, years ago, 12 I mean, years ago? The answer's my question, doesn't it, really? I know. You know, there the, hasn't been a band in the last five where, years that... And don't get me wrong, I mean, I love... Well, I mean, Kasabian are an old band as well now, aren't they? I love watching Kasabian live, but bands that have really shook, you know, not mm. just the music industry, but culture up, you know, and change things. You've got to say, for me, the, the Arctic Monkeys. I know Grimes kind of taking off now, it's big, but... I don't see, I know there's people like Stormzy and Skepta are big, but even in that world, I don't see them as big as like the Arctic Monkeys were. Do you remember when they first right. come out? Yeah. It was huge, wasn't it? It was like Earthshake, it was front page news. That's, and I haven't seen a band since the then. The closest band in that scene would be the Streets, and they're not yeah, at the yeah. Streets level. I know, I know. I'd say Mike Skinner was massive, wasn't it? Yeah. And before, before that, probably a few years before that, Eminem, you know, like, and then obviously before that, I'm guessing you got Oasis and then Nirvana, um, but we're going back a bit here. No, man, yeah. we're, we're going back <laughs> old school. But yeah, I just and I obviously watched Noel Gallagher a few weeks, and I, I, he makes me laugh. I've got to be honest with you. And he said something quite interesting. He said, "You're never gonna get a huge band like Oasis were when they first come out." anymore just because the way the industry's changed just because of the whole reality show and the tv music shows the way things are big business big corporations now How, what do you think well i mean yeah i actually agree i don't think you're going to get a big band like that again all the big bands that we love are all doing first album tours or you know lincoln yeah. park doing a hybrid theory tour or food fighters doing you know the best of so they're not even touring their new music anymore <coughs> No. They're staying in that, greatest that hits. when they were greatest hits, when they were big, nostalgia, you know, it's, it's, they're nostalgia mm. bands now. We don't want to listen to necessarily what they're bringing out new all the time, we want to remember the good times. And, it's true, it's true. But you know, I want to go and see them live, playing all that old stuff. Yeah, uh, bring back your yeah. party days, isn't it? Yeah. Still party days now, but... Um, it is still party days <laughs> but, now. But, yeah, I just, another thing that's interesting is, when the band stop being cool, do you mean what? What is there a certain age you think, or is it past thirty where you think, okay, you've lost touch with the the young generation, obviously. But I mean, when 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 it when do you think someone should okay stop trying to make it now, or should there never be a point? You know, yeah, there's trying to make it and made it. So once you've made it, you know, certain bands are always always going to be cool. They don't have to reinvent themselves or yeah, they're, all, they're only an age, but always yeah yeah. You know, the Stones never 
never not going to be cool ever yeah. for sure yeah uh, yeah, yeah. And then they get, you get those bands that try and reinvent themselves. I mean, as I said, I'll bring up Linkin Park as an example. The yeah. reason they have to do hybrid theory tours is because no one's listening to their new stuff. I know. I, know. I mean, there are there's a generation of kids out there that probably mm. love it, but mm. their core fan base not listening to it. You know. Yeah. Did you listen to the last album? No. Mm. No. <laughs> I just think, yeah, I just don't see, and I don't want to knock the up and coming bands because obviously like me and my sister Mariah, we're still gigging, still yeah. doing our own original stuff. And every time we gig in London venues, there's a great band that blows me away. Unsigned, energy, but they're still not getting out, they're still not making it, you know? And I just think, wow, I mean, what's, what's, what's happening? And then the bands that are being signed, all kind of sound the same. It's almost like someone's like, right, this is what we're going for, you know? And none of them are... Hey, you know, I don't want to take a risk anymore, that's what it is. Like, that's what it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking so that. Lest they uh, virally take off themselves and then, you know, it's not a risk, is it? They mm. see that this band's doing well, they're YouTube, whatever, they've got a following, they've got some money down, they invest in them, but yeah. if they have to go and find someone, they ain't going to take a risk. Mm. So it's almost do it yourself, mm. don't you think? Oh yeah, it is. It is definitely DIY. Because yeah. mm. that's obviously, you know, completely going against the grain of bands of Bieber. That's how he got me, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, like YouTube and... My space Sarah band. Applin as well. I mean, I don't know if she's big anymore. She had one album that was, but yeah, yeah. Because mm. I just think, like, you know, someone said to me, unless you're an X Factor these days, you're not gonna get anywhere in the industry. And I just think there has to be another way. Surely, you know, that's just de- that's a depressing thought, isn't it? <laughs>